What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is about the Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition. If you've been following along, this phone was due to come out in about August and it's been delayed and we didn't really know when it's going to be delayed until and it looks like the absolute earliest it's going to come out is leaking out from a, a Korean news site and they're saying that the release of the Galaxy S21 Fan Edition in the US and Europe is due to come in October due to the shortage of semiconductors. Now, October is a couple of extra months away from what they originally were planning on. But again, that's the absolute earliest. There's been rumors it might get delayed until November or, or December. And this is gonna be their mid-tier, high-tier, kind of in the middle of right there. Uh, that rhymed, wasn't that cool? Uh, of phones. So, you know, if, you were, if you're a fan of the Galaxy S20 Fan Edition, the S21 Fan Edition is gonna come out a little bit later. There's also rumors it might come out only in a few places, like two places, AKA your US and Europe. So we'll have to wait and see, but uh, it's looking that somewhere on October, November, December time range is when it will actually be released. Next up, as you can see from the headline, Ice Universe puts a little tweet out there saying, Samsung deliberately rendered the camera, which is interesting if you saw my show yesterday, talking about the Galaxy Z Fold 3, where you can actually see the under display camera in the top right. It's like Samsung didn't wanna hide it. And we kind of talked about it towards the end of the video yesterday where like, are they showing it so you don't get concerned that there might not be a camera there? Like they want to show you that there's a camera there or is it that we will see it at different angles? I, and I still think it's the latter. I think it will be for the most part hidden, but I think it's gonna, gonna be like that little, you know, crevice in the middle of the screen that we have now where you can see it at different angles. Otherwise it's kind of hidden. I think the camera will be something similar, but it's just, Totally interesting that they put it in their marketing material so that you can see it. And the last story of the day, also about the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3, S Pen. Obviously, we've seen marketing material showing, we've heard rumors and leaks for months at this point saying that the Galaxy Z Fold 3 will have S Pen support. And then just to add even more fuel to this burning, burning fire, you have the FCC now here in America showing off that the Galaxy Z Fold 3 will also sport s pen support and the little blurb from the fcc is that you can see right here this little blurb uh, the uwb ultra wideband display port s pen and wireless charging so they list off some of the the key features of the phone the radios and things like that of what it will have the features showing off that again s pen support will be included with the phone. Now, will the S Pen come with the phone? That's probably the better question. Probably not. It seems like it'll be an accessory that you can buy offhand. I feel like it's gonna be probably one of the free gifts that you end up getting for the phone. Um, I think they'll like be like, oh, we'll throw in an S Pen. If you're gonna pre-order, we'll give you the S Pen. I think that's what's gonna ultimately happen with this phone. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. My question out to you guys is, what do you think about the S Pen? Do you think Samsung going to include it with the Z Fold 3? Or do you think it'll be a purchase that you have to pay? Let me know in the comments down below. Have a great day, and we'll see you guys down the road.